welcome to Pumpkin Patch. You can see that my patch is dying off for some reason. And all the pumpkins are turning orange so soon. Well, two aren't. I think I might have cross-pollinated from last year the seeds from this year into a smaller kind. And pumpkin number one is turning really orange. And pumpkin number two is ready to pick, actually. It's already fully orange. And it's little. I think I cross-pollinated. But this one is bigger. And that one over there is little. So I cross-pollinated. I know it's a little too early to pick a pumpkin in July. So, pumpkin number two was picked because it was already fully orange. It cross-pollinated. I cross-pollinated. Now I know what cross-pollinated means. I got no more pumpkins. And over there, they're dying off. And I wanted more pumpkins. I think the seeds that I planted from last year. Welcome back. Sorry, my camera died. This is the pumpkin that I picked. It is really, really small and round. So it's fragile and it could break and roll because it's the roundness. This is almost all orange, but really, it's really, really orange and it was cross pollinated, I think. Because I planted um, New England and uh, regular jack o' lanterns that are supposed to be 30 pounds or more. And this is not even two pounds or less than five. Um, the height is like normal height. It's not normal, but it's small height, you can tell. But the height, it's about About 21 centimeters. So, with the stem is like six. Uh, my bad. So it's like 12, 16. But. It's really, really small, bigger than my, not even big, if I could do this. These are like the type of pumpkins that are good for growing on trellis, and the bugs won't get near them if they're next to the ground. So I'm going to send these seeds to a friend of mine. So she could grow a pumpkin instead of a gourd. That you could grow these on trellises. And it will make her happy. Better off growing these on trellis. Because they are small uh, kinds. When this pumpkin dries out. I'm going to dry out the seeds, clean the seeds, dry them out, and send it to my friend in Florida. You can tell that it got scratched up, but it's okay. It won't do any harm to the pumpkin because it's drying up like this one. It just has like a birthmark. We call these on the uh, pumpkins. They were born with a burn mark. Birthmark. These look like they're really new, but 
they're closed up already. This one's old and it's closing up. It's already closed. This is closing up. And this was born with little dots. But eventually, in the dark, it will still get orange. If this is like a little green, it will get orange right away, no matter what you do. And you could say it's the size of a baseball or a little bigger. And that's that. But I still have one big one that's bigger than this. That is not uh, one of these kinds. It's actually came out as a jack-o'-lantern. And it's still, still on my plants. And it's hooked on well. And it's still growing and it's not orange, thank God. So. And I still have two more of these that are turning orange I think one more that is still green but I don't I'm not sure if it's gonna be this I guess I didn't grow any New England I was hoping to get a New England and thanks for watching this is my first little pumpkin for 2013 in mid July Bye, and comment, and like, and don't forget to like us on Facebook, and ask us questions, and I will be honored to answer you with the answer. Thank you. Bye.